Now that The Glory has concluded its first season, the cast seem more than eager to share the behind-the-scenes secrets that fans have been wanting to hear since the show started. One of the most talked about scenes of The Glory Part 2 was Isara's scene at the church. You know which one. Since Isara was one of the people that made dong -un's life a living hell in high school, she becomes a victim of dong -un's revenge plot. She uses Sara's addiction to send Sara to jail. But before that, Sara has quite a steamy scene in the show where she hallucinates and does some inappropriate appropriate things. The hallucinations start with a snake crawling out of a religious painting before it turns to So myung -ol. The scene was pretty messed up according to the viewers, but Kim hyo the actress playing Sara, revealed to the public that the scene was even more shocking as they were filming it. During an interview, hyo revealed that the director asked her whether she was feeling comfortable with shooting that scene because even though he felt that she would do the scene justice, he wanted to respect her boundaries as an actress. But even with the director's concern, hyo felt excited to take on the challenge. She shared that she also got the support of her co-stars, who told her that she'd be the star of the episode, which made Hiyota even more excited to make the best out of the scene. One thing's for sure, and it's that she was right about calling it a challenge, especially since it was revealed that the snake in the scene was not CGI, but an actual real snake. Hiyota thankfully warmed up to the animal really quickly, expressing, I was told the snake has been on multiple shows, so it's a sunbae meme snake. I tried touching it, it and it leaned on me, showing me some ego. After communicating with it for a bit, it became much easier for me to hiss. She also had to prepare so she could betray a character who's an addict as accurately as possible. Since Hiyota doesn't even smoke, getting Sada's character right turned out to be quite difficult. She thought that it was just like getting drunk, but she watched a few documentaries on the topic and based her acting on different references, wanting to show how the rich characters rely differently on meds during difficult times. To prepare for the role, she smoked weak e-cigarettes. Hyora stated that she was worried about smoking pleasantly like her character was supposed to, saying, There was a scene where I made a roll and smoked it. I felt tired after smoking and it didn't taste good at all, so I tried not to think about it again afterwards. Thankfully, she didn't continue smoking after that. But if the director was set on making Hyora feel as comfortable as possible on set, the same can't be said for fellow cast member Cha Joo-yong, who plays the role of Choi hye jong In one of the scenes of the first part of the show, Joo-young went viral for her form as she appeared on screen in a short white dress. According to the actress who did an interview with Allure, there was another dress that was originally prepared for the scene, which was a cute tweed outfit that was a bit shorter and less clingy to the body. But the director pushed her to wear the white one instead, even though Joo-young wasn't a fan of the idea. She said, The director wanted me to wear the white dress, but I refused. I thought it would look too ugly on screen. But I eventually wore the dress and filmed it, not knowing the scene would go viral. Another scene that had the audience shook to their core was the scene where Joo Young takes off her shirt and shows off her chest. And while scenes like this are nothing new in Western shows, it took the Korean viewers by surprise and made them criticize the director once again, as they were sure that the scene was done against the actress as well. One netizen reacted, To be honest, the scene in season 2 was really unnecessary. I was so surprised. However, the scene started the debate whether it was Cha Joo Young or a double or complete CGI. The discussion got so heated on online forums and YouTube that model E Do Yeon had started taking legal action against people claiming that the body used in the scene is hers. But actress Cha Joo Young made it clear in an interview that the scene was completely CGI. She said, There was a CG team prepared for me and also for my body double. The character of Choi Hye Jong had a breast augmentation procedure, so we needed that part. She also argued that the scene wasn't completely unnecessary to the plot as it showed something really crucial about Hye Jong's character. It was a scene to show that all Hyejong has is just her body. It was what she achieved on her own and was an element to fill Hyejong's self-esteem. Moving on to computer effects, let's talk about the relationship between the actors on the show. Even though the drama was all about how the characters had tormented Dong Un and them getting a taste of their own medicine a few years later, the cast members were all friends with each other. But that doesn't mean that they weren't nervous. Lim ji who plays the main villain on the show, expressed that she was anxious about how she would get along with Song Hye Kyo, who plays Dong Un. She said that when she read the script, she saw that there were many scenes in the show where the two would be cursing and fighting with each other. Dion expressed, On my first shooting day with her, I thought that I should befriend her as much as I can, and I was in a hurry since my character treats her Moon Dong Un badly. She shared that she straight up asked Song Hye Kyo about what she could do to get along with her, but thankfully Hye Kyo made it very easy for the two to get along. Dion went on, There were no qualms, even when shooting the scenes where we fight and our energies collide. 
Quickly, we became close, talking over food and puppies on sight. It came to a point where Tian felt the most comfortable doing acting scenes with Dolun, and even though the two were supposed to be mortal enemies, their chemistry shone through the screen. It was the same for Idol Hyun, who was amazed at Hekyo's skills while acting alongside her. In an interview for Cosmopolitan, he said that it was difficult for him at times to deliver as much energy as possible in a small space with limited movement, but was left amazed at watching Hekyo do it. He shared, Even when she doesn't express herself in any particular way, her emotions come through. I thought, so this is what a true master of acting is like. That chemistry and raw talent of all the cast members made the show get extremely successful, and it's affected the cast members too. Dion said that acting as her character scared her, but not just the character, as filming and going to the site terrified her and made her afraid of failing after she takes on her next project. But with those acting skills and her professionalism on set, it's not likely that a drama starring Lim Dion will fail, especially with how serious she is about her job. In an interview, she said that she was divided on how she wanted to approach her role. First, she considered playing Yeonjin as someone with no emotions, and then she tried to approach her as an emotional character. After coming up with different ideas, she ultimately decided to make her own voice, expression, walk, gestures, and style, coming up with a villain only Lim Dion can play. And she did such a good job that people started wondering whether she was similar to her character and had also mistreated her classmates in school. There were a lot of responses that said, you were really a tormentor, weren't you? I even got a lot of calls from my friends from middle and high school. However, she cleared everything up, saying that she was a normal student and overall unproblematic. Dion said that she didn't remember much about her school days except for the fact that she wanted to become an actress. She even said that she used to be so cranky and temperamental due to the fact that she had to maintain her bad temper all day while filming and vowed to do a really good kind role after shooting wrapped up. But she wasn't the only one that was affected by the viciousness of their character. Dion's younger counterpart, Shin Ye-un, appeared on an episode of NBC's Point of Omniscient Interfere and said that even though she received praise for her performance as young Pak Yeon Dean, filming was pretty hard for her. She emphasized that she knew that it was all fictional and they were all just acting, but she still came out of the character while filming from time to time. For example, when her character was hurting the moon with a hair iron, she knew that the iron was cold, but seeing Yeon Dong Moon's actress cry out in pain got her thinking that she was really causing her pain. She said, I had nightmares after I went home. I couldn't sleep without earplugs because I got so agitated due to the dark character. The best behind the scenes secret that was revealed by the cast was that they all remained friends after filming wrapped up. Liam Dion confessed that they all go to the mountains together, exercise, and have talks about acting. She expressed gratitude to meet people who had each other's back, saying, While doing this project, I met real friends who supported both the actress Lim Dion and human Lim Dion. I am terribly grateful to meet such precious people. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys!